I would love to actually participate more in that conversation, but I don't know. So if people can't understand what me and Crash are saying, I, I don't think they understand. They're, they think that because you switch character, like if I spend 20 games worth of currency to unlock a character, I can change mid thing without losing progress towards whatever character I want to unlock. Like let's say I play 10 games unlocking phase, right? And then I don't like phase, I want to unlock Sephiroth. I still have to play another 20 games, which is a total of 30 games. But if it takes 20 games of currency to unlock a character, I can swap mid phase unlock and then switch to Sephiroth in only 10 games. And then even if I still waste 20 games unlocking a character I dislike, I still have to play those 10 games anyways to catch back up to where the other other like progress is. So I would still be playing 30 games. So like I, I, like, I just don't understand what they're talking about. Like they, I don't think he understands what Crashy is saying there. And it's like actually hurting my brain. That's like the nicest way I can say that. Cause it's like, it's actually just hurting my brain, the thought process there. Yo, can you like not? Did he hit two so much earlier than me? He's gonna be pretty oom though. I think we're still chilling. Yeah, he is big oom. So I kinda just chill the rest of the lightning phase now. Which is alright with me. You just don't care. I mean, you understand what I'm saying, Crashy, right? Like, I mean, you obviously understand what I'm saying. I just, uh, for some reason, he thinks that when you, like, like the, his thought process is that when you switch characters, you're playing a completely separate 20 games to unlock the currency, which is just not the case. Like, you're literally just playing less games to switch characters. It makes no sense. Like, I don't know. I, that shit is hurting my mind, bro. That whole conversation was just hurting my mind. You're getting angry, so you have to walk away from it. That's actually why I stopped responding, because I was actually getting like a little bit annoyed. I was like, I can't respond to this anymore. I'm, I'll actually get annoyed. What the fuck? You know why he doesn't get it? I think he does. I think he's just trying to defend the system. And like, I can respect that, but at the same time, like, your system is actually just, like, it, the way he's defending is just incorrect. I like it. Maybe he doesn't get it, but like I feel like it's pretty straightforward, and I'm not trying to be mean to people, but like I was losing brain cells reading that. I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, I can respect it, even if I disagree. I can respect it, and I imagine that they have some supporting systems coming to help with the contract system. Rock jungle, it looks to be. Which means probably Decker ADC. How is he up XP actually on me? He's up a full minion on me somehow. What the hell? What's going on here? Not much, Chewy. How are you doing? We talking about uh basically me and crash were talking to the discord because crash was talking about the free, like having a free-to-play currency over a contract system and then i was just agreeing with him that free-to-play currency is better and then in the discord uh somebody was saying that a contract system is better because you can switch characters mid system but like save progress which is just not accurate unless the free-to-play currency would take more games to unlock a character than a contract system would but theoretically it would be the same right like it would be the same amount of time spent to unlock one character so like it's incorrect <laughs> like I, I can't tell if it's like 
bait or not. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It's just hurting my mind. Because they just don't understand, like, basic math, I feel like. Or they're just thinking of it differently. Either way, it hurts my fucking brain. To think about how they're seeing it. Ex transfer existing content see okay that would be this but like then it's just like now you're just locking people into unlocking characters specifically which is fine but you still can't use it to unlock other system like other things in the game so it's like again still just kind of a negative like just a straight negative so like i don't know i just disagree and maybe i'll put something in the creator discord later with like a better explanation but i don't know if it's even worth the effort honestly Cause I don't think it really matters and I don't really care. Is she gonna flash for me? I, mean, I just took myself to death cause I have to wait till his Q is out. Kinda cringe my mid gets overtated bro. I should have just flashed for the fucking steal and just queued him instead of trying to wait on it. I'm just gonna late rotate and get nothing. Uh, he's probably gonna attach, like touch the wave and then I'm gonna lose farm and then I'm gonna get fucked on wave state. I just feel it. Maybe he gets Gideon actually. If he kills one, that's huge. Even just laying the back is pretty big though. Okay, he dies instead without even trading. Oh no. There's a worst possible scenario. Oh my god, I missed 3 CS. I'm playable. To start from the boys. What the fuck? How is my ADC 0 and 7? Okay, you're actually getting reported for intentionally feeding. There's no other way you can die seven times in the lane at eight minutes. What the fuck? I don't really report people. You have to be reported for 0 and 7 at eight minutes, man. That is impressive. Like 12 CS, 8 deaths at fucking 8 minutes is impressive. That's beyond impressive. Guys, going for the record. I did have the Owen 20, uh, or not the Owen 20, the like Owen 42 duo lane at some point. Like, uh, like two weeks ago. So, I mean, it's about roughly the same as that. you call those autos easy saved or you don't push the lane there what are you doing so like that is like an impressive amount of deaths truthfully i'm not easily impressed that is an impressive amount of deaths He's getting stunned and hooked on repeat. Even if you're getting stunned and hooked, you could literally right click from out of range of the Richter hook. From the point that you could just dash the Decker stun. So what might have happened is maybe he just didn't get dash for a while. And he's getting punished for it. But even still, reportable. Has to be. That's like, again, that's an impressive amount. I play the game every day. If you have an impress, if you have an, an impressive enough amount of deaths to impress me, 
Like, that's incredible. I mean, I'm fine with hard fighting. Oh, my Q got canceled. Pain. Jersey Mike's so good. They were you hear when we were talking about it earlier? We were really talking about Jersey Mike's earlier because people were asking what they want to eat for lunch. You must have missed it. We were literally saying that earlier. Ooh, looks like some deaths are occurring over here. There's not a ton I can do for you boys. That's about all I can do. I have some shit takes. What do you mean? They were pretty based. I was really saying I like Jersey Mike's. What do you mean? That's a good take. Why is a twin blast there? Weird. Red meat cheese? Yeah, I want a sandwich. That's what I mean. I'm not trying to have a salad. It might be better for monetization. Monetization in a scummy way. It's not about like monetization. It's the fact that you lose value because you're locked into a specific character. No matter what, it would still take you the same amount of time to unlock every character. Like, you can make it take the same amount of time. It's just you can choose which character you want in a better way. That's it. Like, if it takes... Somebody said it takes about 500 games if you have the if you have the uh, $8 edition to unlock every character right now. You can still make it take 500 games worth of casual currency. And it would still be the same amount of total time. You just have more choice throughout more of, like the unlock system you're not locked into specifically choosing a character that you may or may not like and then you can also use the currency system like you get other systems that uh you use the currency for whether that be like icons or whatever or you know you can rent characters things like that like all that kind of stuff it's just better because you just have more choice and you get more options to use your currency on especially if you're like somebody that has the upgraded edition like myself like, I have the upgrade edition, so I have the first 30 characters. So I don't need to unlock those. So, like, I could use the currency that I unlock now to get better value. It's just, like, it's just straight... It's a straight negative to the player. For zero positives... I shouldn't say zero positives. Maybe there is some positives that I'm just not thinking of. But, like, for the majority... Worse experience... Like, I don't even think it's a positive for necessarily the people that... Like, the devs. I think it's just a straight negative for the most part. Like, across the board. It just like, uh, I don't know. Put the value of the system. I mean, I think it's fine when you have a small roster. So like, I'm not too worried about it, but I hope they do move away from it. Cause I think it is like, uh, the smaller the roster, the more acceptable it is. But as soon as you get to a larger roster, it's much less acceptable. It's just the worst system. It is a significantly worse system, I agree. player earns a currency not the character that people play so like you earn it's how smite does it like have you played smite dodge like that's like a casual currency so you get like let's say you get 50 points at the end of a game as a casual currency and you can spend let's say 400 to unlock a character which is about 20 games if you get 50 a game that's the same as unlocking a character that's two contract points because it would still be 20 games the only difference is that if let's say halfway through that i wanted to switch to a different character I don't have to spend those 10 games that I initially played 
on that character because I still have the like it's a currency so I can choose it on something else and then you can also get unlockables and things like that with the currency so it's just like there's just more stuff and then the, the, so they were talking about it on Predcast yesterday too and they were like Zygor was like, responding and he was all like well there's a point in league where you get everything and I'm just like okay then it did its job if I play a thousand hours of in, in a game the system has done its job like the system has already done a shot. So like I just disagree. And then he's like, not everything should be, like again, not everything should be unlockable with currencies. Like it's a it's a net negative for the for the company. It's the same thing as if you were to buy a hero. How is it a net negative? You literally just you limit certain things to only being premium currency. But like a recolor should be unlockable with casual currency. It's just a terrible take that it loses the company money. It doesn't. Because you just make certain things limited. That's how every other game does it. That has a casual currency. And I was just like losing brain cells talking to him yesterday. I was on Precast. No, he was in the chat. I was talking on the chat with him. He was in the chat as well. Because they, they were talking about it and then we were talking about it in chat separately. put content to make use of that content like even if you're not like again if it gets you enough in the if there's a there doesn't have to be like a ton like it like i said i play smite i play smite for eight years i have half a million casual currency and i have everything in the game that you can buy with casual currency but i've played the game for eight years so the game like the system has already done its job you know what i mean as far as i'm concerned if you get ten thousand hours out of a player and then they unlock everything in the game that they can unlock i feel like the system has done its job you know what i mean so like i just disagree What's up, Obito? How are you doing today? Good morning, dude. So, like, I, I don't know. I just fundamentally disagree with the thought process of, like, some of the takes that I've seen. Do we do an enemy Gideon portal proc unbroken? I don't think so. Because it's only a slow. Are the games? That games are alright, you know. We're carrying Appy. Actually, Appy's kind of cooking this game. I shouldn't say that. My stacking is terrible this game, too. I got Appy level stacking right now. Thing like has been doing with their casual currencies by putting out content. Look, Smite, you can buy like avatars. It's just like small stuff and like recolors and things like that. And like that's fine. Right? Or even like the mastery skin. Smite has their mastery skins. Like you have to get a certain mastery and then you unlock the mastery skin with the casual currency. You can even do stuff like that. And nobody complains about that in Smite. And like, I don't know. It's just. I think it's just a way better system to just always have casual currency over a contract system. And again, you don't need a ton of content. You don't need content every patch that has like free to play currency unlockables. You just do like a big patch every now and then where you just add like random things like artwork and stuff like that, that people can unlock. And it just like, it's just basic stuff. And then again, it, once you get to a certain point, you don't have to add anything because people just stack it and then it's whatever. It's not meant for like, People that play the game 10,000 hours a day, you know? Oh, Appy, I'm sorry. I don't think I kill him either. That's the worst part. Oh, he leveled. I definitely don't kill now. So, like, I don't know. I just disagree. It's your for the upcoming patch. Have you seen the uh, Severog Mastery skin today, j -Pi? Figured you'd be interested in that. Who just talked too much about the game? I mean, agree and disagree. <laughs> I've said it before. I kind of feel like they take a little bit too much community feedback. Cringe. Get some bitches. Uh, but at the same time, like, I don't think necessarily it's all bad. It's just you got to sort through which one's good, which one's bad, right? But then at the end of the day, it's like the community plays the game, sure. But you're also the developer. So, like, I can say one thing. Like, I can say I dislike the contract system. Does that mean that they're going to move away from it or whatnot? Or they should? I don't know. I'm not the dev. I don't make the decisions. You know what I mean? But I can tell you my feedback on it. I can tell you I think it's not as good as a free-to-play currency. Do I think it's the worst system imaginable? No. Do I think it's like a good system? Also no. But that's just my opinion. I don't I don't make the game. You know what I mean? If you make a balance change and I disagree with it, I don't make the game. It's whatever. I'm still going to play it. I enjoy the game. Unless it's like a change that like I just fundamentally disagree with and makes me stop playing the game. 
Like they were like, all right, we're gonna remove this game mode. It's gonna be only 3v3s only or something. Like I, I just fundamentally disagree with that. So I would stop playing. That's like different though. The premium, uh, premium and free battle pass, free game platinum. But then it's just like platinum is your premium currency. Like uh, every battle pass you can usually unlock. So most battle passes I would say generally are like you spend $20 and then you earn $20 in the battle pass, like $20 worth of premium currency. That way you get all the other stuff for free, but if you don't, that's where they make their money. Because then like the people that don't play the game every day are where they make the money. And they have more in the pug server and keep captain draft. Uh, people just won't play, unfortunately. As you see right now, like people just don't play. It's kind of the issue. Because people think that they're above skill levels of other players and then they're like, I don't want to play because fucking X and X is in the queue. Excuse me? And then they just don't play, which is really annoying, but I mean, what can you do? I'm tanking for you, Appy. I'm tanking for you. You're good, buddy. You're good. You're good. You're good. I got your back, bro. He was worried there for a second. He thought he was tanking, bro. He got a little worried. Marco's full HP. He was like half HP. Appy's also five levels above him. And giga fed out of his mind. This game is going nuts. This game is interesting. My ADC is 0 and 16. I don't think they need I really don't think they need me because they all just died. I really don't think they're gonna contest. Truthfully. And they killed an Arbash, who gives a fuck? Ever seen that my deaths? I had a 0 and 42 duo lane uh, last week, so. It's up there. On 16, obviously, jungle's fault. <laughs> so true. That if I lost to somebody that was 0 and 16, though, I would lose my mind. Oh my god. My stacking is so bad this game. One more new players now in EU. That's because the game is on sale and they did the $8 pack, so that could be why. He's sitting on the talk and he's also wrong. What is he saying? I felt like he was kind of wrong yesterday, but I, obviously I didn't say that. I just disagreed with what he was saying yesterday. Owen 42 combined ADC and uh, support or Owen 42. Or like 1 in 42, something like that. What did A say though, Crashy? I'm curious. Maybe bad guys. Uh, I don't know if he's bad or trolling. I think he's just bad. I did report him though because he was 0-8 at like six minutes, but like I don't really care at the end of the day to be honest. <laughs> so it's like whatever. Maybe more tenacity. So I got post purchase as well. I just disagree with the premise that you're losing the same amount of investment. Like, or if you unlock a character you dislike. It, it, it's not about unlocking a character that you dislike. It's about the opportunity of not being able to swap your character in the middle of the unlock. Like if I play five games unlocking phase and then I play against a Severog and I'm like, man, that guy was fucking gaming. I've never even played against Severog. And then I'm like, I want to switch to Severog. That's where the opportunity is lost. The opportunity is not lost in, oh, you end up unlocking Severog after and then you dislike him. That's not the opportunity lost. The opportunity lost is the switch. It's the games that you lose from the switch. And one requires you to play extra games. That's it. like that's just as, it, it's just that simple, really. The 
Yeah, they, chose they they actually just don't want I don't think they understand or they're just defending it. I can't tell if they just don't understand or if they're actually like they understand but they're just not listening. Cause they wanna like defend the system, which is fine. Like I get you wanna defend your system, but like it's just a bad system. Objectively compared to a free to play system. But again, I don't really care either way. I would imagine they have some type of supporting features coming. Because I can't imagine a contract system alone being like all of the free to play systems that they have. Because otherwise, how would they allow you to unlock like emblems and stuff? So, like, they have to have something else at some point. This sounds like a way to trap people into playing more games. Well, it's a way to like, uh, picture this, uh, you have the God Pack leash, right? Imagine you were playing Smite, right? And you know how you get favor, because you, you, you played Smite, obviously. And you wanted to switch characters mid unlock. You can just switch to, you can just pick whatever character you want to play. But imagine you were, you chose to unlock, you had to specifically choose a character to unlock. And then you tried to switch characters. You now have to completely unlock the new character. So you just have to play more games to unlock a specific character. So you end up just playing more games without playing any new characters is what ends up happening. And that's just a net negative. It's just a straight negative. Unless you are committed to unlocking a specific character 100% of the way, it is a net negative to the player because you stop them from playing a new character for a longer duration. Like, unless I, in my, like, if I'm a new player and I want to unlock Serith, I have to play 50 games. Unless I'm 100% committed to unlocking the Serith, and I don't change my mind at any point, it is a worse system, just objectively speaking. Unless it's, like, shared XP between all the contracts, and then it's just, like, when you unlock a contract, you can then choose any character to unlock with the amount of XP that you have, then it's fine. Or if it's, like, a banked amount of XP, something like that is also fine. <laughs> Do viewers want to watch Rain Life together a million points? True, true. Hello, Kana. How are you? I should probably rotate to a team fight, huh? But yeah, I just, like, just fundamentally, it is a worse system. Bro. Yeah, the Murdoch actually pushed me out of the range of the Richter Alt XD. Yo, can you guys not? Like, I'm trying to get this cannon. Thank you. by him. I don't have mana to ult. <laughs> Yo, Nightcrawler, dude. Thank you for the primer, man. Thank you for the primer. Thank you for the fucking follow, man. I appreciate it. Welcome to the bird nest, dude. I hope you enjoy your stay. Really appreciate that. Mark with Phoenix. It's Murdoch jungle as well. Should we Murdoch on the death counter? It's a good question. It's only at four, actually. It's not that not that low. Or not that many. Red's fucked. Honestly, I think if they had just said, like, all right, this is just a rudimentary system to, uh, to like, until we get future systems, I think that would give me more expect, or, like, a better respect for them defending a system that's just incorrect. 
which came from my videos very fun to have me in the background dude i appreciate you watching the videos man i'm glad that you enjoy them we just be out here vibing yeah i think like i, I don't know i just completely just that I, I agree with you crashy that them defending a system that is worse saying that it's better makes me lose faith like a little bit it's okay to if we're wrong we'll accept that see like i agree and like i can respect that more than somebody defending the system and just being like it's objectively better even when it is wrong but at the same time like at the same time like it should be changed in the future at least be reasonable yeah i like 100 percent agree at least it's like a reasonable response like if they're wrong they're wrong and that's fine sometimes you're just wrong but like to defend the wrong system is just i, I don't know it just blows my mind a little bit but then it's also like <laughs> I feel like if they asked anybody beforehand, they would just tell them objectively that it was wrong. And I feel like if you can't get that right, then like how am I supposed to expect you to get other systems correct? Obviously that's not exactly how it works, but that's how it feels. So like, like I said, it makes me lose a little bit of faith, but I hope that it's just like a system where they're waiting to get more supporting features and that the supporting features will make up for it. I don't think it's like a crazy hard system to fix though. I, I really don't like, it's easy to, like you can have them both mutually. Like you can have a casual currency and a contract system. And I think that's not like unreasonable. Both would be fine. Yeah, I, th I don't think it's like a crazy system to fix, but it does like, worry me a little bit I think with money will provide bias but you don't make money off skins or not skins sorry like character sales like you make a little bit sure but like it's not a lot and other games literally have systems like smite you pay $30 one time and you get every single character like now and forever or like in uh dota you literally download dota you have every character immediately in dota you don't have to unlock any characters they're just all unlocked by default and like in league you have the free-to-play currency whatever i'm pretty sure league also has like packs that you can buy i could be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure league has like packs that you can buy with like 10 characters in it or something if i'm not mistaken was the subject we're complaining about i'm not even really complaining uh people were just talking in the discord like the pred discord about uh the contract system versus a free-to-play currency and how a free-to-play currency is just straight up better in like almost all aspects and then they were just defending the contract system saying that it was better than a free-to-play system which is just a hundred percent false in like every aspect i feel like like almost every aspect i feel like it's just incorrect uh so i just like disagree and then they were just continuing to defend it. And I was just like, it's, you're just wrong, but that's fine. Oh, Appy's not here. I need to leave. I'm going crazy about the delays this morning. Did they, it was the delay on like the, what's it called thing, which I don't really care about that. I don't really care about that. That's whatever to me. Get your pento! Get it, Epi! He's so talented! That's my go! What's up, Serge? How's my day going? It's alright. How's your day going? But there's more focus on high quality cosmetics for microtransactions. See, that's what I said. I said the same thing. I said, if you're worried about people not buying heroes and that's where your income is from, like your income for most games, I feel like should be in cosmetics. Like you get skins, you have, you have better skins, you have more avatars, things like that. Like you have other ways to get money. I feel like that's way better than uh, like the hero purchases. I feel like it's a weird hill to die on. They all seem to be attainable. Well, you don't need everything attainable. That's the thing. Like, 
free to plays and or uh free to play skins should be like recolored.